everyone, it's Jenny, and today I'm sharing with you my July 2019 Ipsy Glam Bag. Most people know, but if you don't know, Ipsy runs $10 a month. It's a beauty subscription service, and you can be sent hair care, makeup, skin care, that kind of fun stuff. It's usually worth the $10 price point. I um, know I'm pretty satisfied with Ipsy. I know my sister's usually always threatened to cancel Ipsy and she still hasn't got her bag yet. I've got mine about a week ago. I'm just late filming it, but she still hasn't got hers yet and we're getting towards the end of the month. So, anybody else? Has anybody else had a slow time getting their Ipsy for the month of July? And so let's see what's in my bag. And the bag design this month, it's okay. It's not my favorite bag design. I don't think it's terrible. I just think it's kind of blah, you know. Um, but I guess they were going with maybe, let's see what the theme is. There's, a, there's usually a card, maybe it's in the actual bag here itself. Let's find out. Uh, dive in. So that makes sense. Kind of got, you know, looks like water, you know, ocean themed, whatever. And of course it's dive in. Summer is in full swing. Let's soak it up with dewy skin, beach babe waves, and shimmering budge proof makeup looks. Guaranteed to keep those chills, poolside vibes going all month long. And then I do look that they have a card that tells you everything that's in the bag. They used to not do that. They've done that the past few times. So this is an improvement. I do like that. So first off, this was an item I actually got to pick. Um, sometimes Ipsy will, you know, contact you via email and let you pick an item. This was the first time I ever got to do that. And so what I picked was the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. I love the Smashbox, Smashbox brand. And I believe this is in the shade Babe Alert. And this says, each, Smash, each Smashbox cosmetics product is created, tested, and photographed in their LA, LA studio like this long wearing matte liquid lip color. Has a built in primer oil to keep your lips hydrated, conditioned, and soft. And the nude rose shade looks awesome on all skin tones. And it also gives you a tip. It says, using the tip of the wand, line all around the lips, fill them in with color using the flat side of the wand and blot. And I will say, I have used this. Um, it is a nude, but it is a nude shade that I think suited my skin tone. And that's the um, the applicator, which the point makes it really nice to get around the lip line. And I will swatch it so you can see the color. That's what it looks like. Thought it was very pretty. It was very comfortable on the lips. They didn't feel like my lips were drying out. Uh, a nice matte. It did last. Now I did eat a cheeseburger, and I did have to reapply after a cheeseburger. But I think with most liquid lipsticks, I always if I eat a cheeseburger or something greasy like that, then you're gonna have to reapply them. So next item in the bag is a brush, and this is from Billion Dollar Brushes. And as you can see here, it's got a spoilie and then a uh, then a brow brush or an angled brush, which I like to use these angled brushes under my brows. But you can also use them to fill in the brows. So let's read about this. This uh, Billion Dollar Brows Eyebrow Brush, LA-based LA Billion Dollar Brows creates high quality, cruelty-free, professional beauty products. The angled synthetic brush head precisely defines your brows and is infused with charcoal to help keep bacteria away. And bonus, there's a spoilie on the end. It's always nice to have a spoilie. I know I use a, a pencil most of the time when I'm doing my brows, and most of the time it has a spoilie, but if it didn't, this is really nice to have. And then it gives a tip. After brushing your brows with the spoolie in, dip the angled end into your favorite powder or pomade product and use to fill in sparse areas. Okay, it's a nice little little brush. And next up, this is from Ciate London Glow 2 Highlighter. And I did use this, and when I first got it, I was like, oh, I think I'm going to love this. I wore it, I liked it, but I wasn't as impressed as I thought I was going to be. So this Glow 2 Highlight in the shade is called Moon Dust. 
Ciate is best known for innovative formulas and this illuminating powder is no exception. It's made with tiny sphere-shaped particles that capture and reflect light for out of this world radiance. The best part, it's lightweight, silky smooth, very buildable, and blends like a dream. And the tip for this is use a fluffy brush, sleep onto the high points of your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose, cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. So let's give it a swatch so we can see what it looks like. And now this is a really nice pan size. I'm not sure if that's full size, but that is a, that's way better than a sample size, I think. And that's what it looks like on the finger. And then I'll swatch it here. And that's what it looks like. It, it's really pretty, but when I wore it and maybe I need to wear it again, it just didn't give enough glow. It was too subtle of a glow. And I do like having a subtle glow sometimes, but I want it to pop just a little bit more. So, I don't know. Maybe I need to, need to use it again. I only used it once. Okay. Next up is from Kula. And this is SPF Mineral Sun Silk Cream SPF 30. And this says, Kula's products are made with antioxidant, rich plant-based sourced ingredients. This oil-free lotion protects your skin from UVA and UVB rays, exposure, and pollution. Plus, it helps retain moisture while it smooths and softens without leaving a white cast like some sunscreens. And the tip for this is shake well, massage onto your face and neck in an even layer 15 minutes before you're exposed to the sun. Don't forget the back of your hands. They need love too. Which, um, if you watch my summertime favorites, I did have some favorite sunscreens I do like to use. It does have a safety seal. I'm going to keep this and probably put it in a purse or my swim bag, something so that I know that I'll have it. Cause it's always good to have, especially face sunscreen available because you don't want to use the sunscreen for your body on your face. My sister and I did that and it was, our skin did not like that. Did not like it. And then last but not least, this is from The Balm. What's the tea? Ice tea eyeshadow mini. The packaging super cute. And what's the tea? He said, she said, I did wear this. Um, it is, it almost looks like a light lilac color. Let's, let's read about it. It says, aside from the cool creative packaging that screams girl power, the balm's known for quick fix products that are easy on your wallet. This shade is a versatile shimmery lavender that lasts for hours and can be worn wet or dry all over lids or as an eyeliner when wet. Tip, use a dry fluffy eyeshadow brush to blend. He said, he said, she said, all over the lids and up toward your brow bone. And I do think it's pretty. And this is almost good for like a no makeup makeup day because it's just super light. And that's what it looks like. And you could almost wear that as a highlight as well. But I, I wore it on the lids. It wasn't as poppy as I wanted it to be. Still pretty. I do like the color. I wish it was a little bit more vibrant. But, you know, overall, I think my Ipsy bag was pretty good. Um, I don't think it was terrible, so I'm definitely going to keep getting it. Let me know, are you still happy with Ipsy, or are you going to cancel it? Leave it in the comments down below. Hope you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I do have my giveaway still going on, and you have to be subscribed in order to enter. So make sure you do. And with that, I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.